Item number SCP-6017, Object Class, Thaumio. Special Containment Procedures, information about the true character of SCP-6017 is accessible only by members of Project MOA and O5 Council. Classified SCP-6017, Designation SCP-1617-F, Entry to Database, based on the incident, PMI, 30th of September, 2017, has been provided to conceal vital to Project Mower Anomaly. Such precautionary measures allowed partial disclosure of Project Mower, while also providing substantiation for its existence and allocated resources. Controlled propagation of strong SCP-6017 effect among human population is considered desirable in the long-term foundation strategy. To achieve such outcome, it is paramount to attain full mastery of this anomaly in complete secrecy from remaining paranormal organizations. Current efforts are concentrated on gathering additional data by surveillance of controlled populations at isolated and extraterrestrial foundation facilities. Moreover, identification of SCP-6017 effects combined with methods of regulating them are still being investigated and refined. Description SCP-6017 was discovered on the 25th of May, 2010, by Dr. Emily Windsor, at the time Chief Director of a research team studying noticeable increase in rate of new anomalies occurrence. Due to health position and wide scope of administered operations, Dr. Emily Windsor noticed similar traits among most of the eminent personnel. This observation was later confirmed by additional tests and currently forms the basis of foundation knowledge about SCP-6017. Informality of research combined with unfathomability of anomaly character to the most of the erstwhile members of the old five council led to impediment in registration of SCP in central database. Only in 2017, this process was finalized and the anomaly was assigned hidden spot 6017, which currently contains fortified information and is widely accessible. In the same year, Project Moro was established to gather data and conduct research on SCP-6017. SCP-6017 affects all subconscious intelligent beings. However, strength of its influence varies based on the resultant of the multiple factors, mainly the level of integration with the local universe. It can be generally described as an ability to sense disturbance in the fabric of reality. Depending on initial strength of SCP-6017 effect and additional training of affected individuals, use of traits acquired due to this anomaly could counteract the number of cognitohazard and mimetic agents. In some extreme cases, foresight granted by SCP-6017 allowed for safe interactions with typically hostile corporeal anomalies. Currently, utilized by Project Moral Method of Classification in Controlled Populations, is based on a checkbox quiz appropriately modified with mimetic agents combined with amnestics prepared by personnel under strongest SCP-6017 influence. All beings affected by SCP-6017 are categorized and assigned to one of three groups characterized based on strength of anomaly influence, S1 standard, S2 salient, and S3 supreme. Any given population is expected to be composed of about 95% S1 group, whereas the remaining 5% is divided between S2 standing for roughly 99 percentage points and S3. With rapid growth of anomalous activity in the universe, it has been concluded that an increased population of salient and supreme individuals would greatly improve humanity's chances of survival. 
For that reason, the Foundation places immense value on cooperation with S3 class individuals who are paramount to fully comprehend SCP-6017 effects. As for the 25th of May, 2021, our organization has in its ranks deep of such beings in prominent positions in Project Moore and O5 Council. For research on creating beings under SCP-6017 influence, Project Moa is substituting organic life forms by deploying conscious artificial intelligence due to its vast development cycle and high compliance factor with human mentality. Initially, reality angles were used to stimulate growth of SCP-6017 effect in tested populations. However, it was quickly discovered that such solution could not provide required levels of reality and lacked any sufficient guidance. Based on a new theory of multiple realities universes, a reality control device has been built for project mower use. New hardware allows to create and sustain in controlled manner local super reality by overlaying matching realities. By the 25th of May 2021, Project Moa has been able to create, under experimental conditions, a population of 1100 CAI, consisting of groups S1 and S2 in the ratio of 3 to 7, respectively. Testing in human clones is to begin in the second phase of Peterborough Dawn Operation. Addendum 1, first vote to allocate a place in the database. Vote took place on the 20th of July, 2010. On request of Dr. Emily Winsor. Yay! Nine! Nay! One! Three! Four! Five! Six! Seven! Ten! Eleven! Twelve! Absent! Two! Eight! Thirteen! By an overwhelming vote, the proposition was rejected. Additional comments from 051. We cannot allow our database to be grounds for personal project repository with little to no regards to science. Addendum 2, second vote to allocate a place in the database. Vote took place on the 15th of March, 2017, on request of 051. Yay! 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Against none. Absent none. By a unanimous vote, the proposition was accepted. Additional comment from 051. This vote starts a new chapter in Foundation history, one where we can take full advantage of our enormous potential to help humankind. Addendum 3. Note to Project Moral members from the 05 Council. Welcome aboard. We are glad to have you with us in this troubling time. With your expertise, Project Moore and any more similar undertakings will serve to improve humanity. All of you can rest assured that you can return to a better Earth with the conclusion of the fourth phase of Beautiful Dawn Operation. For we have been dying too long in the dark without giving the light away. Addendum 4. Notes on the incident. PMI. 30th of September, 2017. First implementation of the checkbox quiz to test Foundation personnel for strength of SCP-6017 effect lacked integrated failsafe. Investigation revealed that in certain scenarios, tests can be completely decoupled from uploaded separate control software. Such a situation took place at 7.21 a.m. on the 1st of October, 2017. During evaluation of SCP-6017 influence on James Smith, janitor of Site-19, incident was resolved with help of local mower operator Andrew Ferretti. Following interview was conducted 20 hours after James Smith was apprehended. Welcome James, I'm Andrew Ferretti and I'll be conducting an interview with you today about today's occurrence. Alright. I've been told you recovered from the incident. You should be familiar with the protocol. Please take your name and occupation. James Smith. I've been working here as a janitor for over two years. Thanks. Let's start from the beginning. You missed yesterday's morning shift because of an unknown anomaly. Tell me everything you remember about it. 
So it was about 10 minutes to 7.30. I was checking my assignment on PDAP, and then it just opened. It looked like a quiz about plants or something. I had some time to kill. I just gave a few answers and nearly completed it. You can check it. Sadly, your personal database access point has been destroyed during your struggle to cooperate with the security team. But you were saying that you answered a few questions. Do you feel compulsion to do so? Haven't you noticed that you spent two hours on that quiz? I didn't know. I don't know. Maybe at first there was nothing. You know, everything is blurry. All right, relax. You are not in any trouble. They just want to know what happened. Do you remember how many questions you answered? Maybe a few hundred? I was so close. Close to what? To the end, to explanation. And that's what made you angry at the security team, that they were trying to stop you. I don't remember, but I didn't feel angry, just incomplete it. And now, how are you? Do you still feel this way? I, yes. Are you okay? I, James, talk to me. Due to quick actions of research already, all evidence leading to the true nature of SCP-6017 and Project Moral Involvement was disposed of. To prevent further questioning, James Smith has been administered selective amnestics. Based on this incident, a false entry in the central SCP database was created. Link to falsified SCP-6017-F is placed below.